Has this ever happened to you? You find a cool piece of gear online, and you get it, and the box is ripped up, and you open it up, and there's no packing, and to find that one of your rack ears is dented. I mean, the thing could be screwed off, and the guy didn't even bother to do that. Well, if you're like me, you buy and or sell a lot of stuff online, so I'm going to show you all how to do it properly. I've shipped things all over the world without incidents, and it's real easy to do. Okay, today we're going to ship a similarly sized one unit rack space item. Uh, I like to reuse bubble wrap from previous shipments, so I've got three feet of the bubble wrap, and what we're going to do first is we're going to wrap the front of this. to help protect the ears a little bit better. Okay, we got the front a little bit protected. I've got some two foot wide, one inch diameter bubble wrap. We're going to lay this down. I've got four feet of it. The bubbles go towards the unit that you're shipping. And I like to use the thicker, bigger bubbles on larger pieces of gear. Smaller bubbles good for small electronics. Tuck the uh, power cord up in here a little bit. Pull this over. I like to tuck the top part down, fold the bottom over. Lamps. There's one layer of bubble wrap. I always want to do two layers. We have our second layer. We can do another four feet. One, two, three. Or the stuff is perforated every foot. I buy this stuff in bulk since I ship a lot, but if you go to your local hardware store or uh, office supply store, they typically have it in a one foot depth and you can just take two strips of it, lay it down, tape them together, and do the same thing. So here we go, layer two. Alrighty, we got a properly double bubble wrapped one unit rack. Now, to box. I like to reuse boxes, and this would be a perfect box size wise. I like to pack, use these type of boxes where I can just set it down, pack on top of it. But we can't do that one today. This one's been used quite a bit. So, we're going to modify a box. This box is 21 inches by by a foot by 18 and a half. We're going to cut this box down to the right size that we need for this. And we need at least 24 inches of width for the rack ears. Okay, so we're going to measure this box to 24 inches here and 24 inches here. I'm going to take our straight edge and we're gonna not cut all the way through the box, just through the top layer of the, uh, of the corrugate. But what we will want to do is cut all the way through the flaps here. And here. Now 
we need to do that on the other side. Make sure you flip it straight over. Feet there. Get all the way over here. So now we have made a box that's going to be 24 inches long, and then the height is now going to be six and a half, six and a quarter actually. And we're going to bend the box here in place at the bottom. And now we'll fold down. Whenever I receive something that I bought, I try to be careful when I unwrap it so I can reuse the bubble wrap, keep costs down for me and whoever I'm selling stuff to. Nothing like ordering something and they want to charge you 50 bucks to ship something that should only cost about 20 bucks. I mean, it doesn't take up that much space to hold on to the packing materials from previous shipment, just throw it in a box, put it up in your attic and you've got it for whenever you're ready to sell and ship something. Anyways, we've got a bunch of leftover bubble wrap here. I also save uh, styrofoam peanuts, but there's nothing worse than getting your shipment uh, that you just ordered and having to dig through a whole bunch of peanuts. I'll show you in a minute. So anyways, we're going to take some of this leftover bubble wrap from previous shipment, and we're going to stuff the bottom. couple inches stuffing there. Then we'll take our item that we're shipping, place it in the box as such. Now it's uh, the reason why I like packing the other type of boxes is because you can pack your layer down, put the unit in the box, and then pack around it. This is a little bit more difficult to do because you've got to hold it while you're stuffing more packing material. Now, I said I don't like to use styrofoam peanuts, but in this case, we're going to use some just because peanuts are great to fill in any gaps that you may have missed. Or just a little bit, we're going to shake it. Make sure those peanuts get way down in there. Then we'll use the rest of this reuse bubble wrap. Finish off the top. Flaps over. Put it down. Now we're going to finish taping all the edges of the box. Now these edges that we uh, that we cut to modify the box, we want to tape these for two reasons. Number one, to reinforce the box, and also to keep you from getting any paper cuts while taking it to wherever you're shipping it. Here we have a one unit rack that will safely arrive to its destination. I want to thank my girlfriend for helping me film this and for putting up with my gear acquisition syndrome.